Hey, it's Steve. In this video, I'm going to ballast some turnouts, weather the track, and do a bit of scenery work. So I've done a lot of ballasting on this HO scale switching layout, but I have not yet finished ballasting the turnouts. And I'm gonna go ahead and do some work on those today. And so when you're ballasting turnouts, there's two key things to keep in mind. One, you don't want to get ballast granules here right around the throw bar because those will get in there and just jam it up. They can kind of get lodged in between the ties and the throw bars. And the second big thing is to not get glue in there. You know, so obviously you don't glue it shut in one direction or the other. Now to help with the gluing aspect, I usually put some plastic compatible oil, just a couple drops right around the throw bar to kind of help prevent any glue that gets in there from solidifying. Uh, to help prevent the ballast from getting in there in the first place, what I typically do is when I'm ready to actually put down the ballast, um, I do put a little bit of tape, just uh, you know, painter's tape, blue masking tape, and just put a little bit of that you know, right around the throw bar area to help prevent any ballast granules from getting in there. But anyway, with this turnout here, I do have some white areas from plaster right around the, uh, the, the ground throw area. And so I'm just gonna go ahead and paint those first. So when you know there's missing ballast in this area, you won't have white showing through. Okay, so now I'm ready to go ahead and do some ballasting in this area here, this turnout. So again, I'm just gonna go ahead and put a few drops of oil using this little, apparently it's leaking. And I'm also gonna do a little bit on the tie tops Go ahead and apply some tape, and then I'm just going to do a very light coating of ballast around there. Try to brush off as much as I can off the ties. And you'll notice that the ballast is kind of making the ties look sort of a light dusty brown. Uh, that's because I actually do have some dirt mixed in with the ballast because this is not a main line. And so I do want to have the ballast a little bit dirtier looking and not quite as well maintained as it would look like on an actual main line. Okay, next I'm just going to dribble some rubbing alcohol. You can actually just take some water with some rubbing alcohol mixed in it and use that as a wetting agent as well, or do the traditional water with some dishwashing soap in there, but basically just to provide a way to wet the ballast before you apply the glue. And that basically breaks down the surface tension of the, uh, the water in the glue mix. And so that will allow the glue to flow right, uh, right down through the ballast granules without them all getting, you know, kind of uh, messed up by the surface tension of the water. Okay, so now I can add my scenic cements. And I typically just try to dribble it a little bit in between each tie. Here you just want to be careful, again, trying to stay away from the turnout throw bar. Um, the glue obviously is going to spread on its own and kind of get to places you maybe didn't think it was. And so it is important that, um, you know, you don't put the glue directly next to where the turnout throw bar is if you want to make sure you can still operate it easily. So we'll take off a little strip here of protective tape and then just make sure things are still good and there's no ballast in there. Okay, so one problem I'm having with this turnout uh, is that these uh, the rails here are not getting power from either side of the frog. And so I'm gonna go ahead and install a little jumper wire. You can see it here, I think. It's this little uh, wire right here. And I'll do, I'm gonna do this on both sides. Uh, that will ensure that these rails have power from the outside rails at all times and that should hopefully prevent the stalling that i'm getting in this area when i have my short wheelbase locomotive go through here so basically between here and here there's no power getting to these rails um, and so i'm just going to do again go ahead and do some quick jumpers uh, between between the rails so uh, power will flow there. The hard part obviously is that this is a small space, a small wire, and I can't see very well these days. So we'll see if I can't get the soldering done here.
And you can see here with the wires added, we no longer have any trouble going through the turnout. Okay, so now I'm going to work on doing some weathering on the track, but first thing I'm going to do is take some of these pan pastels. Um, this is a sort of a brownish tan color here, and I'm just going to uh, work this on all the track areas here. Okay, next up I'm taking uh, some water and uh, not even a brush full of some black acrylic paint. We'll see how this looks. Uh, first off, I'm gonna basically run this black wash here through the turnout area, since I do want this to be quite a bit, quite a bit darker. I'm also gonna take some Neolube and apply that to some of these areas in here as well. This really looks nice when it dries. I have those wires through here, so I'm going to go ahead and dab those and just kind of also produce some color variation, throw a little bit in the middle here too. But it's nice to put on the frogs and stuff because it really helps to kind of camouflage those. Take a little tidy track thing here and kind of scrub off the tops a little bit. Neolube is conductive though, so it doesn't really matter if you have it on the rail tops per se. Now this wash is a little bit darker than I really probably want, so I'm going to go ahead and actually kind of just split this into another cup and then add more water. And then I'm just going to go ahead and kind of run this down the middle of the, uh, the rail here. Now this is going to lighten up a little bit when it dries. It looks darker just because it's wet as well. to work on putting a little ballast right around this switch stand. Okay, so now that I have most of the ballasting done, I'm going to go ahead and start putting in uh, some of these grass tufts that I have. I'm just basically taking each one and add a drop of super glue to each one of these and then just kind of randomly tuck these in various places. I'm just gonna go ahead and stuff some rolled up paper towel here and next to the tree to hold it in place. And I'm gonna fill it with some dirt on top. But I need something down in the hole to kind of really jam this trunk in there good. And then I'm just gonna take some dirt and some glue, mix that up, make a little bit of a place. Just gonna add a little scenic cement to make it a little bit thinner. So now I have a putty that's basically uh, made out of dirt. So when I pack it around the tree, when it dries, it'll, it'll just look like dirt. I just need to prop the tree up some while it dries, make sure it doesn't fall over when I'm not watching. So anyway, that's all for this video. In the next video, I'll be working on installing some chain link fencing around this concrete pad area here on the far side of the layout. And then doing a bit more scenery work, but things are rapidly approaching completion here on the one by six foot HO scale switching layout. So anyway, that's all for now and thanks for watching. Bye.